Shalom. Welcome to Q&A with Trinity Holy. The question I received from yesterday after the broadcast of knowing who to marry, how do you know who to marry? People asked, when you are now in marriage, when there are quarrels and arguments, why is it like that? They are trying to get rid of those. The reason why the enemy shot that kind of an arrow is because he knows the power of agreement. The Bible says, where to agree on earth it shall be done by my father in heaven so it's uh, if you look at it it's not a uh, mainly an issue of prayer it's not mainly an issue of prayer but whatever that you believe in as long as you are two the father does it for you in heaven the bible says in the book of malachi in the old testament it says when they spoke one to another God heard their prayer. When people spoke like a brother speaks to another, or a sister speaking to a brother, or a wife speaking to a husband, that our plans are to buy a house. Our plans are this. The Bible says God heard their prayer and he wrote a book of remembrance. So take note, that book of remembrance, it's written every day in your life. So it's very important to be married for those that say, hey, I really want to be married. It's a powerful thing. It's such a great thing because you basically now have a prayer partner. Every discussion that you make, as long as uh, it is in line with God's will, which is what is righteous, whatever that seems fit in the land of righteousness and not off in terms of sin, the Lord definitely does it for you of course if you write if you speak bad things still uh, the scribes the angels call the scribes they write everything that you do whether positive or negative so whatever thing that comes out of your mouth whether it's in the positive or in the negative it's going to impact what you are going to have now and in future it's going to impact your marriage or it will demolish your marriage so it's very important for couples not to argue. It's very important for couples not to indulge in conflicts, fights. Because when you do that, you draw negative forces around you. And then they begin to determine what happens around you. So a happy couple, a joyful couple, they are unstoppable. They achieve everything that they desire. Why? Because it's a power of agreement. So it doesn't necessarily mean you need to agree with a pastor, you need to agree with a prophet or a bishop. Just your wife or your husband, as long as you people pray together, you're in, in harmony, you're in unit, you are in peace. When you just agree over a certain thing, just in form of dialogue, it's basically a prayer to our God. Then the Lord will write, uh, that book of remembrance through the angels called the scribes. So these angels, what they do, the Bible says you shall give an account of every word that you shall speak. How does it happen? It's because the Lord jots down everything that you speak through these angels. So on daily basis, these angels, they go and submit what you have spoken. This person really has faith. This person really has faith. Do something for him. Then the Lord sees faith in you then he begins to act which is why we need to keep quoting god we need to keep acting according to his word so may god increase you if you are married and the enemy had short arrows of arguments i declare deliverance in the name of jesus i seize the storm right now i seize the winds of the spirit in the mighty name of jesus may there be peace love joy and comfort in that your marriage may there be harmony in the name of jesus May you begin to agree today. May you begin to see the power of salvation in Jesus Christ's mighty name. So begin to agree with your partner. Discuss with your partner. It's very important. You can do, I know some people sometimes have a tendency of doing things on their own because they lived a single life for a long time. So it's still fine. Let's say maybe you're planning to get your wife a car or get your husband a car. Proceed. But I'm saying if there are things that you see that this is something that really needs me to be in agreement with him, 
you know what, we need to buy a house. We need a house. In fact, you do not need to keep declaring that we need to buy. You just need to declare what you need. We need a house. Then the Lord will now make means for that house to come. So may God increase you. May God bless you. Bind this revelation to your spirit. Bind it to your soul. So that in time of need, the Holy Spirit will bring it uh, to your mind again. So that you apply it accordingly. God bless you. Shalom.